Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video about my self uh, discovery of self compassion! <gasps> so rad, so mysterious, so amazing, yes, all of these great things. Uh, I really wanted to make this video one because I kind of wanted to get my thoughts in order, and two, I also really wanted to share it with people because I feel like that life is so confusing. And uh, there's only like these roller coaster rides and such that it might be helpful to have like someone else's videos out there because I know how people are, you know. Like, I mean, I've been in that situation where it's like, man, I wonder if anyone else feels the way I do. And then I look up a video or a, 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 a vlog or a blog or whatever, and it's someone who's done it. Anyways, yeah, let's get to the point. So, essentially, I have recently just discovered self-love and self-compassion uh, and I actually remember the date it was February 17th so a few days ago maybe a week ago whenever I put this up I don't know um, but anyways uh, I discovered it through my therapist uh, without her I wouldn't have been able to do this at all but essentially I just I found out about self-love for myself um, and it was kind of like the, the best way to put this is that it's, it's, it's very savvy yes but just bear with me. It was kind of like having a vial of self-love in my heart, and it was kind of like, it, it broke. Like, it was very delicate, um, but it took a lot to destroy it, and so, well, not destroy it, but to open it up. So as soon as it opened up, I felt kind of like this rush of um, just calmness and love and peace um, as soon as I felt it, and it was just such a great feeling. I loved it so much. Um, I was finally able to feel what it was like to actually and love myself and care for myself. When I came out of the therapist's office, uh, I, I go to VCU so you can kind of see like everyone, like you're overlooking everyone down in the food court. Uh, and when I came out, I had this just sense of calmness and no judgment or anything like that because I, 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 lo I was loving myself so much that uh, I didn't have time to deal with any of the other bullshit. So when I saw everyone, I wasn't looking through gray colored glasses anymore. I was looking through um, just normal glasses, like, I just looked at everyone and no one seemed like a threat to me anymore, no one seemed like an asshole, because in that moment what I realized was that the way that you perceive yourself is how you feel like the world perceives you. So if you perceive yourself as an asshole or that you're no good or anything like that, then you start perceiving other people in that way. because. How you, it's, it's, it's kind of like you're judging yourself. Well, no, that is essentially what it is, is that you're judging yourself, you're making yourself feel either good or bad. But let's just say for my case, in the past I was comparing myself and I was telling myself that, oh, I'm a bad person, I'm bad this, I'm bad that. So no matter what good I saw in the world, I would perceive it as bad and label them as bad. And now I just look at everyone and it's just kind of like, they're just people. Like if, if you're in love with yourself, if you love yourself, then you don't need anyone else's validation and the bullshit doesn't matter. So I kind of wanted to tell a little bit of a backstory about uh, how I got to this point of like self-revelation. Well, more along the lines of why uh, I never really had self-love in my life. Uh, and the, the short of it is is that I never really had time to give myself a pat on the back uh, because when I was growing up I had to do a lot of stuff uh, you know I, I, I essentially I'll, I'll use the word help I had to help out a lot of people and a lot of things and by doing all of this helping I never really got to focus on me I never got to be like well I did this so, and that's good or I helped out with that so you know I'm a cool guy I'm a great person blah 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 um, I never essentially just patted myself on the back or awarded, rewarded myself um, because I was always so busy helping out and I never knew what was enough. The key word for me was I nev like it was never enough. That's the key sense that I found out in therapy was it was never enough. And so I felt like that in order to be the best person that I could be that I needed to give myself to everyone to help out what everyone did so like with my friends or with my family or whatever I would always give um, you know what well, you know how they say 50 and 50 I gave 70% I try to put all of my all into every single relationship that I ever had in my entire life 
because I, because that, that's, that's how I learned to survive, essentially, was uh, work and work and work and work and work and help and help and help and help, and that was the only way that I knew how to create relationships. Uh, so whenever anyone had a problem or anything with me or anything like that, I would be on their on beckoning. I would I would I would be there and I'll be like, yes, yes, tell me, do you, do you want me to take off my glasses? Do you want me to dye my hair? Do you, do you want me to shave my beard and such? Like my my old philosophy essentially was, there are two ways that you can take criticism. You can either say oh, well, fuck you, or you can be like, oh, well, maybe I can't change, and that is still true. However, the way that I did it was that I took everybody's criticism, and I would use it to mold myself and change myself, and by doing that, you just, you never really find self-love for yourself. You're always trying to change and make the other person happy because you're scared that they're going to leave, or you're just, or that's just the way that you learn to survive, like I did, and so... Going back to my childhood, um, I just never really gave myself that 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 space. I never uh, had a chance to validate what I was going through, essentially. So yeah, um, I finally was able to feel self compassion and self love, and it was just an amazing feeling. I just I, I didn't really feel like that I needed to beckon to anyone anymore, and. You know, it was just, it, it just, it was a milestone. I'm always going to remember February 17th. It was just um, a great day for me. And, uh, you know, I, I really, really hope that other people are able to find this self-love and this self-compassion. Because it's, it, it's been really hard for me to figure out what makes a good person. And that's what's going to be my next video, uh, which is essentially... What does it take to be a good person? What does it mean? No. What does it mean to be a good person? And I struggled with that for a very long time, and I'm just now realizing it. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys really like this video, and I'll see you later. Bye!